Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. This is our Euro Truck Simulator 2 um, career mode playthrough. I'm the Custard Prophet, and we are going on a nice little drive here from Tim Soria in um, Romania to Nis in Serbia. But before we do that, we've got to get there. And on the way, we come in from this rock eater um, bloke, well, rock eater company, I don't know what I guess they just make, well they don't make rock, they collect rock and uh, we got a little viewpoint on the way which would get us 10 out of 15 viewpoints in the West Balkans. I'm still struggling to see where they, where they all are but um, this one is just down here on the right side. We are way, way out in the sticks here but um, just north of uh, Belgrade and you can see it just there let's see what this is all about I'm not entirely sure what's that bloke doing oh he's walking his dog is he training his dog there no he's got two dogs he's got two dogs right <laughs> right let's see what this is all about grand adventure 10 out of 15 the Kovacia Wind Park. Okay. Man training his dogs. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm not sure that's how you do it. Is a wind park it just has one wind turbine? Is that is that what it all it takes? Oh no, there's two. There's two. It's alright. <laughs> Or are they building it? No, there's, there's one in the distance as well. It looks like they're building one just on the left there also. And I think this is what this Vestas area is for. They're building the wind park. Right, we've got it. What are you doing, mate? You don't look like you're doing much. You, you, you <laughs> Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, there we are over the over the back there. Well, that was fun, right, folks? I'll just show you on the map. We've got a little way to go to get up to Tim Timisoara. We've been there before, so it's not like we're picking up this new place. But we go into Air France, which is exciting, and, and then we've got to take the long trip down to Nice, which is is here. Um, which means we can't actually go out here through Romania very easily. So we are going to kind of come through here, um, down down in this direction. So let's see how we do. Uh, I will see you when we get up into Timisoria. Right, we are just coming up to the uh, come into Timisoria. We've driven through it, and um, you can see the airport over there on the left. So we're going to go and collect the Air France bit of cargo. I can't remember what's in it, so we'll have a look once we pick that up. Oh, this is pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know why they're blocking off the entire airport. That man looking sinisterly at us, but it's fine. Well, uh, we're going to go and collect what is ours. All right, up ahead. Uh, right. Where France is in there? Not in there. Oh, plane taking off, folks. Might well have seen that, so... We're just going to hook ourselves up here. Go. and off we go let's have a look at the route that we're going to be taking we are going to be taking um, our delivery and we'll have a look what that is in a second down south back through the border the way we came um, around Belgrade there's no way through it unfortunately it'd be nice if there was a road through there but there isn't um, all the way down here 
uh, past Krag Kragujevich uh, down towards Nish, which is the only city in this sort of area that we haven't picked up. We are missing Tirana, Jures, Fier, Viore and Bitola, all in that area there. And I think the only other two the cities we're missing are Nova Mesto and Copa. So we'll come down here, pick this one up. We might do a little bit of dancing to and fro inside um, the likes of Bulgaria and Romania, but um, to, to, to to get the uh, to try and start getting the um, uh, the cruise in the Balkans uh, road to the Black Sea event trophy. I not not can't remember how long we've got for that. But in today's delivery, we are going to be taking live cattle. There is nowhere there's live cattle in this. There's no live cattle in there. <laughs> to, from Timsora to Nis, it's uh, we've got 19 hours to do it. 24,000 euros we get for this, and we pick up Nish, which would be pretty cool. Right, let's get on the road, folks. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Can we see the cows. They're quite quiet. They're very quiet. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so it has been, I have to admit, a little while since I did um, did the last video. Apologies for that. Uh, there was basically, it, it is an incredibly busy time. Last week was super, super busy. And the week coming is super super busy as well so it is going to mean unfortunately that i'm I, I don't see any way around it that there will be videos missing over the next few days and i can only apologize for that but i can't i just can't physically do everything i need to do uh, without um something having to give and unfortunately as um, I get paid a lot more from work. I have, I have that. That's the thing that I have to prioritise. But I do get a lovely drive this Saturday, all the way into southern Serbia. So that is exciting. What's over down there? Just a second. What's down there? Okay, it's a little route down there. We we could do this thing, but I, I think that looks an absolute bloody nightmare. No, we won't do that. We're going to go back back on ourselves uh, down here we haven't picked up any any fines I was maybe speeding a little bit in places but we were kind of a bit careful in uh, making sure the police didn't see us doing these uh, this sort of naughtiness anyway folks we'll move forward a little bit there's a really nice little bit of um, um, road I wanted to show you like a little uh, little town that we drive through just as we get over the border so I'll, I'll see you back there Yeah, Timitsora, as you can see, has got a nice uh, tram uh, line, so you've got to watch out for the tram. You don't want to be um, getting battered by the tram as it uh, as it comes through. Not sure. I guess the tram goes in the same direction as the traffic, so it, it has to kind of obey the same kind of laws. I'm not really sure. I don't live in a tram city, but um, if anyone knows, kind of what the rules are around trams, do they have priority? What what happens with them? Let me know. Because um, I, I, I randomly came upon a, a load of YouTube videos with trams crashing into cars which weren't paying attention, which, you know, given that a tram is on a track and a car isn't, you think the car would be paying lots of attention <laughs> that there isn't a tram coming up their ass, but there we go. Anyway, folks, we'll uh, move on forward. We're going over the border in a second. We've just gone through Timitsora in Romania. The border's just ahead. And then we've got this nice little bit of, um, I don't know, small town, villagey stuff, just uh, a little bit further on. <laughs> right, here we are in the little um, village or town of Versac, which is not one of the, uh, the towns that is... Um, labelled on the map, but I really like this. It's really cute. I think it was really, um, it's just another very nicely put together little town. Looks completely different from anywhere else. Looks kind of realistic. You know, I love the little cafes and stuff they've got, the little details they have everywhere. Um, 
yeah, it's really, really nice. Tiny little place. I think we might just have gone all the way through it. Yep, so this is the end of Versac. Just coming up here, but um, it's one of many nice little places. We're 4.15 or 4.26, sorry, in the afternoon. Uh, we do need to pick up some petrol. We also need to have a little sleep in a bit. We might pick up the petrol in a second, just up there on the right. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Uh, so I'll see you there. Right, here we go, taking our cows to uh, the petrol station. We're picking up diesel, not petrol, don't worry. I, I know what I'm doing. We've only got a fairly small tank, this, this truck, compared to what we've had in the past, which is interesting. I don't know whether that's an advantage or not. It feels like a disadvantage, but, I mean, we paid a hell of a lot of money. I thought the this particular... Oh, thank you very much. I thought this particular truck would have um, come with a bigger tank, unless it was an advantage not to. But, uh, yeah, if you uh, have, have an opinion on that, let me know. Does it allow us to go a bit faster? Maybe pick up the, uh, um, pick up the uh, acceleration a little bit more quickly? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Probably does, doesn't it? Right, so we're just north of Belgrade, we're not going through Belgrade, so we'll make a big loop around Belgrade and then we'll catch you on the other side, probably somewhere down near there. Well, we're just south of um, Belgrade at the minute. Looks like we've uh, got a little bit of roadworks going on, not sure. I don't know, we've gone, gone down to um, just one lane on either side but so we've got a tunnel coming up as well oh my lord and look at this bloody hell this is quite impressive let's have a look at this I mean it's a long way down isn't it impressive looks like they're building yes it is some road works because this is supposed to be on the other side so let's take a photo here 7.26, I've just sneezed, and um, we will need to sleep very soon. We've got 150 miles to go, 3 hours 40 minutes, just south of Belgrade. I've got to say, the I really like the kind of the, like the small towns and stuff north of Belgrade, but it takes ages to get through them. The speed limits are all so incredibly low as we go into a 25 mile an hour speed limit. Looks like we've got a similar sort of issue here. So we will be looking to let's see if where can we sleep. I mean we could sleep just on the left here. I might actually do that. Is that gonna be alright? There we go. Nighty night. We will have a nice sleep in these locales with our cows. They're not bothered. A little cafe over there, maybe. Or I'll just maybe steal some steal some stuff from that little shed. Right. Night night. Ooh, it's just just getting morning so we'll we'll head off and uh, I don't normally drive at this time of night but it'll be fun so yeah just three hours 30 to go 144 miles um, we now we've done that little circuit around Belgrade or yeah, about round Belgrade, we will need to. Where are we going up here? I think this, again, it's a little bit of. Um... No, maybe not. I thought it was some some roadworks again, but I don't. I don't think so. Just about getting up here with our really heavy cows. Um. 
and, and there we go. Yeah, I think I was. I think I said earlier. Yeah, the, it, north of Belgrade, it's really, really slow. We had a lot of sort of um, relatively fast roads um, more south of this, and we're back on some faster roads again now, which is nice. Let's have a look at the location where we are on the map. So we haven't turned south yet, but we're going to be doing that fairly soon. As soon as we do, then it's kind of like straight down the way into Nish. We are going to pick up this photo opportunity just here as well, because that seems like a good, uh, nice thing to get. There's no achievement for that, but it is kind of nice to see what all these bits and pieces are. And this will pick up uh, city number 23. Right, I'll see you as it starts to get a little bit lighter. Oh, good God. <laughs> Just to say we get away with this. Can we get away with this? No one. No, 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 no. <laughs> they've they've realised there's an idiot on the road. Oh, my Lord. Quality reversing. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh we could have... Oh, nuts. There was a way. There was a way back. Apparently, God, no, that was that was almost a disaster. Ending up, although I don't, it doesn't look like it would have been too bad. Police car didn't see any of that. We got away with it, folks. We got away with it. Still, we have not had. We've not been picked up for speeding. We've not had an accident. Unbelievably, considering my driving. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll carry on into the early morning hours. Hundred and sixteen thousand pounds in the bank. Twenty three thousand pounds we will get out of this. So potentially we could be getting another truck very very soon. It's it's pretty nice the amount of cash that we are that we've got at the minute. It's it's um, yeah we we are picking money up fairly quickly with our will be four or five drivers now, um, and some of whom are are doing pretty decent jobs going all the way across Europe picking up enormous amounts of money well 20 odd thousand pounds but he will as he gets bigger and better that guy is going to pick up a lot of money I think right folks I'll see you in a bit as things uh, as it gets a little bit lighter big old refinery there on the right as that we're just driving past it's pretty nice not one we can go to unfortunately um, and some toll roads just there as well so uh, yeah we'll stay on here we don't want to be paying any more cash if we can avoid it a little bit more money that's just come through we've got now on 119,000 creeping up to that 120,000 euro mark which would be very very nice I think we need to get up to around 150,000 euros before we start thinking about the the next truck but we have we have a place for it in Banja Luka, I think we've got a couple of, of places, um, so that would be nice. Uh, I think I already put in. Uh, I already asked where should we have the next one? Should we keep it close by? In your in your opinion, does it matter if it's close by to an existing uh, base or if you if it's further away, can you pick up more jobs? It feels like if there's too many close by, they kind of block each other from getting jobs. Is that me overthinking things? love to get your thoughts on that just taking a left here oh no a right here uh, going towards niche this is the uh, I presume I'm saying that right I have no idea is this another airport um, but we're yeah just taking the uh, taking the road off so um, not far to go now just 30 miles um, 58 minutes because we are doing a little bit of a detour but um, really not very far to go and this I think is our last Serbian city to get I'm not sure how far we got we can actually see the location on the map now but I, I'm not how, sure how how well we're doing in terms of I think we want to go right here is that right I think so how well we're doing in terms of like percentage of the map visited in some of these it seemed quite low when I looked at it last time in some of the ones where I thought was there's not actually a lot more to get but yeah it was a bit a bit weird I'm not quite sure why that was 
I think Kosovo, for instance, I thought most of the roads I've got, but I think I was only at around 60%. So no idea what... Do, do buildings count a lot more in, those, in, in that sort of context? I'm not entirely certain. Right, what's this? It's another toll. We'll go around this side. Because this is easy. $68. It's fine. Right, I'll see you in a sec where we get to that we'll get to that viewpoint. Not the viewpoint, the uh, the photo opportunity. We'll see what it is. In Nish, I think we just got into the town. There we go. 23 out of 30 discovered. Pretty good. And again, we're doing well. No accidents. This is a perfect delivery thus far. And we're making it even harder than we need to. It's only 7 in the morning. You know, he's he's loving life. He is absolutely loving life. So what on earth is going to be here? No idea. What is my bet? What is my bet this is going to be? Going to get there quickly. In the comments, before you've got there, what do you reckon it's going to be? Like the general category. I think it's going to be some weird weird sculpture that's my thought in the comments i want your use your imagination what is it going to be in niche is it, or is it going to be something um is it something army related like a, a war memorial or something yeah i'm going to go with a war memorial a war memorial sculpture that is my that is my thought right what have we got so we turn the corner. It's probably going to be something completely like a giant Mr. Blobby or something. It's kind of the opposite of what we're expecting. Oh, a supermarket is all I can see at the minute. What are you doing, mate? I mean, very kind of you. But I don't trust you that much because often when they do that sort of stuff, they end up hitting you in the side. Right. Here we go. Should be somewhere on the left here. We're going to go around the roundabout and we'll take a photo of it. It's not something massive. It's not building. So I might be right, you know. I might be right. Where is it? Ooh. Ooh. What is that? It is a building. What is that? Right, the Medina archaeological site. Now that's intriguing. That is very intriguing. Does anybody know anything about that? I want to know more, folks. I want to know more. What is that? The Medina archaeological site. I'll try and find something and put that on screen. But if I forget to, or if you know more than me, put it in the comments, please. We want to learn, folks. We want to learn. Right, I'll see you when we get to our final destination. Not far to go at all now. Well, this is pretty cool coming past these what are they gas um, storage things. It always impresses me. I don't really understand how that works, but they kind of fill up, don't they? And it looks, you know, and you know, as when the thing's right at the top, it's full, and when it's not, when it's at the bottom, it's empty. It's a kind of cool sort of system, that. Like a giant balloon, but not. Right, we're here. Not entirely sure what we are here, where we are, but we're, we're delivering some cattle to the airport, apparently. <laughs> Is that the airport? I mean, do cows like to fly? Gonna let me go, policeman. Is this an airport? It might be. It feels like an an airport, maybe. I don't know. What's this? Air France, yeah. Oh yeah, it is an airport again. Nice. 
as I've said a number of times, I do like I do like an airport. We're actually just driving out on on the tarmac. Oh, I like this, folks. I like this. Right, we're taking a photo by the plane. We're taking a photo by the plane. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, I've done that. We're going to go and drop off our happy cows. Who uh, believe they're all going flying. Here we are. So we'll pop this down here, and um, there we are. I wonder if that's the plane they're going on. So Nish has an airport. That is something we've learned. It also has an archaeological site. There we go. There we go. Off it goes, and we have completed another delivery, a perfect delivery, 390 miles. Uh, it took one hour, six minutes for me to do that in real life, and I am now a master moving towards level 23. Let's let's uh, have a look what all that means. 144,000 in the bank. Um, we've got few things that we that we want to do but I, what I might do I might either come down here into Albania and pick up some of these things here or perhaps come over here into Bulgaria let's have a look at the sort of jobs that are available I mean that looks pretty cool <laughs> look at that 106,000 pounds Jesus <laughs> oh man let's, let's look at the slightly so we got we could go to Sofia in Bulgaria. We can go into Turkey. That might be a nice thing to do. We're not being out there. Have a little drive around Turkey. We are going to Romania. Lots of options here. Not seeing it. So rare I seem to get an option to go into Albania. No. We'll have to do we'll have to do one of these really ridiculous ones at some point, but at the minute, that's not what we're trying to achieve. Anyway, folks, another job done. We are getting closer to the two remaining achievements. We're 23 out of 30 cities um, ticked off and 10 out of 15 viewpoints ticked off. I'm still a bit confused where the rest of those viewpoints are. I'm going to have to have a little look at the map to figure those out. I know there's three down in the areas that we haven't really looked at, but that still leaves... Uh, two more somewhere else and I don't know where they are if you've got any ideas let me know in the comments um, I think well, variety of things that we're going to be doing next time we'll, we're always going to be looking for the going camping achievement the next one I've not been able to see that we're also looking for the uh, the Scania truck lover which is would be a bit of a change back in Scandinavia uh, we are going to be looking to get some more cities in the um, cruise in the Balkans on the road, the road to the Black Sea and obviously we're trying to complete these two achievements, the remaining achievements in the West Balkans. So lots and lots of things ongoing. Um, hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you very shortly for another one and it won't take as long this time around. I'll try and ensure uh, we don't have such a big break between episodes. See you next time. Goodbye.